2.5 million kids and adults around the world are trafficked into forced labor, forced sex work, and domestic servitude. According to the United Nations, more than half a million children have been trafficked in Latin America alone. In a plight to stop human trafficking in Latin America, UNICEF, MTV Exit, and the nine Grammy Award-winning band Cali 13 have joined forces to educate youth on trafficking issues through cutting-edge integrated communications campaigns, including next week's launching of a documentary and video that will reach 23 million households across Latin America and 36 million households in the U.S. Bueno, no, nos encantaría que, que obviamente, que dejara, que, que dejara de existir este problema del tráfico de niños. O sea, es, es algo que no, que, que está tan mal y tan mal. Este, y pues por eso estamos participando en la campaña y sé que, 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 que el que estemos aquí va a aportar en algo. Va, vamos a aportar nuestro grano de arena. Estamos disponibles y dispuestos a hacer lo que haya que hacer. Yo creo que lo que queremos es que mejore Latinoamérica. Yo creo que es una forma también de, de educar. Estamos tratando de, de llevar un mensaje, una información de que ya se lleva llevando desde hace mucho tiempo. Entonces, pues es darle continuidad a eso y mejorar, este, arreglar, viste, arreglar no, pero este, que Latinoamérica pues eche para adelante, ¿no? Working with governments on this issue, since based on the human rights approach of combating human trafficking, the government is the key stakeholder in combating this issue. So whether it's through education, whether it's through the protection of uh, rescue victims of trafficking to ensure they're not still vulnerable to being trafficked, and the, the services that can be provided, anti-human trafficking hotlines that people can call for advice, these are all things that, that should are the responsibility of the governments in these countries. So we hope to provide a space and, a, and a, an environment and a dialogue on this issue that is inclusive, where governments can come, civil society can come, and youth can come to talk about this issue, and we can build that momentum and get the momentum going so that we can see an impact on this issue. As the third most profitable business after drugs and weapons trafficking, human trafficking takes in about $16 billion per year from trafficking girls for sex alone. Key reasons why human trafficking continues to flourish comes down to poverty, abuse, discrimination, domestic violence, and too few opportunities to conclude a meaningful education, said Bernd Asen, regional director at UNICEF. In Latin America, UNICEF is working with numerous stakeholders to protect young people against exploitation, neglect, and violence. So we believe this is the beginning of a story where really Calle 13 can make a big difference for young people in Latin America because they are very, very, very committed. We've really focused on engaging with youth and empowering them to get engaged on this issue within their communities. Because we can sit here as MTV, as media organizations, as news organizations like yourself, and we can talk about this. And as Mario said, we can amplify this information. But unless young people take ownership of this and really like take it into their lives, into their hearts, and, and communicate on it with their peers and move forward, we're not going to see any lasting change. The project will incorporate the use of social media coupled with UNICEF's technical expertise and groundwork along with MTV's capacity for reaching and influencing young people, helping to combat human trafficking, exploitation and HIV. Ultimately, reaching out to kids so that young people can get the information they need to protect themselves and others is at the heart of this human endeavor. Afaf Kanja for South South News here at UNICEF.